ngiriye ku kumwaji ya mtorist. Mswahili alisema kwenda kwingi kuona mengi. Na mimi basi nimeamua kutoka kwetu Alabama. Nikaingia ndege na nikaenda moja kwa moja mpaka upande wa PA mahali ambapo nimekuta mzee na akasema atanipeleka round. And of course, very interesting. I had to go to this one great place ambao wanasema is the largest movie theater. I mean Christian movie theater in United States of America. He theater what you can only watch here are movies and not like zile tunaweka kwa TV unaona pana here they play the movie live kama ni movie ya Esther like today I had uh, today they are doing the Esther movie it's called Sight and Sound Theater in PA in Kais kama unaishi America this is one of the best places that you need to visit a place where you can watch a Christian movie live they have everything kwa hii njumba lote unalipata hapa well i started outside as you can see uh, imewekwa vizuri sana siba na kondoo wako pamoja and uh, this is a great investment especially for those people who love uh, uh, you know god alafu mimi nikasema wacha niingie ndani at least to see this great theater but unfortunately ilikuwa asubuhi so they were not open for the theater but at least nikasema wacha nitembeze macho nione na ndio niseme kweli kutembea ndio kuona mengi so if actually you live in US na hata kama huishi uh, huishi hapa US unaishi Kenya ama nchi nyingine if you ever happen to come to United States this is one of the places that you need to visit na especially ukienda upande wa Batimo uko upande wa PA i try to get here and uh, see live it's called sight and sound theaters na kama nimevyokuambia they play their movies live yani mnaingia huko is not that you watch like vinye tunaona kwa tv kama wanacheza game ya esther unaiona live kama wanacheza kuhusu noah they build the ark inside here they do everything they bring animals they bring everything that you see and you know in the bible it was a very interesting place i had to leave but uh, at least i made sure i took a few pictures uh, for for the memory and i promised to myself that one day one time nitarudi hapa na family at least they watch movie i know i'm fan of a uh, uh, book of esther and uh, i would really want to watch the movie live wanaleta esther hapa wanaleta everyone who participates in that movie they do even samson movies uh, like this year they did a uh, Noah movie they also do Jonah yani they bring ata hiyo maji the ocean how they do it i don't know but this is one of the best place i've ever visited in us it's actually in pa and uh, if you want to visit the address you can just google and you'll find the address i said it's uh, it's called sight and sound uh, theater in strasburg Lancaster County upande wa PA and hapa ninaambiwa watu wanatoka mbali sana people come from far hata kutoka Alabama kutoka Atlanta Georgia kutoka California kutoka wapi kutoka other countries just to come here and watch live movies sasa sio kwa TV kama ni Esteli unamguza hivi kama ni Musa unamguza hivi even the the movie of Jesus Christ they do it here and i'm so grateful at least i finally made it here now one good thing is that uh, this friend of mine ambaye alikuwa ananitembeza hapa he was actually willing to you know to pay for my ticket nikae hapa ni watch hiyo movie but unfortunately i had to leave because of other errands but uh, it's a good place just pay a visit watch this and i know utafurahia Mpaka Ruba na Chapa uh, this is a great man here in uh, Lancaster pande wa PA ni mzee wa nguvu sana alinitembeza God bless you sir 
Sasa ameniambia usisangaya Musa lazima uone ya Firauni. Inaambiwa wangu usistaajabu ya Musa na hujaona ya Firauni ama ni ustaajabu ya Firauni na hujaona ya Musa. Ni gani sasa? Akaniambia wacha nikutembeze. Unajua watu wanafikiria Amerika hakuna wazungu ambao wanaishi bila viatu. Amerika kuna watu hawaendi na gari. Amerika kuna wa, na ninazongea kuhusu wazungu hawaendi na gari. Hawavai viatu. Hawana simu, hawatumii sitima, hawafanyi yaya mambo ya dunia. You see like the way we see. Na ndio sasa unaona hii ni gari zao. At least they use uh, horses. Wanatembea na kwa barabara wanapita jia yao. As you can see, eh? Huyo hawajawahi ingia kwa gari. Na akiingia kwa gari labda ikuwe ni emergency. Uh, so we had to move around. Ni waone because I could not believe that kuna wazungu ambao hawavai viatu kuna wazungu ambao hawavai at hizi manguo tunavaanga hapana they have their own clothes yani wanaishi kimaisha yao na sasa si unaona kama huyo huyo anasemaga gari ni ya shetani you know they only ride horses na donkeys huh? so we had to visit this amish village they are called amish actually na huku sasa ni they are real life they are real life venye wanaishi hapa ha, hawa hawana hata hizi vitu za stima tunatumia hapa hati stima hati sijui uko na kuka ya stima no they use solar everything for them they use natural stuffs maka they use chako hmm? nguo hawezi piga pasi na pasi ya stima pana they have their own ways of ironing clothes drying clothes wanazianika kwa mkanda and this is america so it's always good to move around So I had to get here. Of course, to Now, video. currently you're in a room which we call the so sitting room. Throughout the week, this will be a room where mom and dad can lounge in or where children can play in. But on a Sunday, this serves so a very So this is their house. Purpose. Actually, inside, I was church. able to get into one of their houses. And most of them, is it a good one of us? And as soon as they show the wives. Angalia nguo zao. Nguo ya mtoto kuna nguo ya kijana na hawavai trouser ati wa mama vai trouser hapana they wear those dresses girls na kuna ile nguo ya msichana mama anavaa blue msichana anavaa yani msichana anavaa ile ya sijui ni kala gani hiyo eh? ukiolewa kuna zile nguo unavaa kama hujaolewa kuna zile nguo unavaa this is their life kama ni kuku wanalisha kama yani they live that natural life yenye tunaishi huko Afrika Nyumba wako nayo sawa lakini hiyo nyumba haina stima. Haina socket ya stima. Wako na ile moto kubwa ya kuchoma. Hmm? They live their own life. Yes, na wanaweka hapa wanaweka kila kitu. Kuna bata msinga. Kuna kuku kuna aina yote ya ndege ambazo watu wanaziweka hmm? yeah i mean you know kuku ni zile zetu za kienyeji huku na hizi nawekwa na wazungu uh, ukitaka mayai unaipata hapa unaenda unapika wako na farasi nazirisha kama kawaida na pia zaidi ya yote wako na punda punda hmm? ile punda milia unaona mahindi mahali zinawekwa pale juu kama kawaida. Yaani maisha yao yote ni kama ile ya ushago. Na ndio hapa panaitwa Amish village eh? Na unajua kitambo tukiwa Kenya mtu alikuwa anafikiria wazungu wafanyangi hii kazi mzito mzito ya kuchunga ngombe, kuchunga nini. Sasa si huyo ni mtu anachunga hizo kuku. Eh? Na mwisho wa mwezi analipo mshahara kuchunga kuku za mtu. Yeah, it's these people have that humble life. Na it doesn't mean that hawana pesa. Wako nazo. It's just that hawataki hiyo maisha ya, ya ile ya fast world sasa America tumeendelea mpaka kuko na gari za stima sasa hawa maisha yao ni ile ya kitambo i don't know it's a religion or it's a cult or it's a culture but maisha yao ni haya hawa ni wale walikuwa kama wakulima wale wao kanasema mambo tu ni ya binguni hawa nao kazi yao ni hiyo to they live that life yenye ilikuwa inaishi inaishi inaishiwa hapo kitambo miaka mingi imeisha imeisha Otherwise, Bumba Donkey. Hmm? 
ni si mm. anaishi fuda. <laughs> na niliona sio kama puda zile za kule kwetu. Unajua puda za kwetu ni kubwa kidogo. Hawa wa hapa sio wakubwa vile lakini wako sawa. Mm? Buku za kienyeji ni mingi. Ukitaka unapata yenye unataka. Hata wanaziachilia huko nje zinapita. Ziko nyingi sana. Zinapita pita huko nje. Ya. Yeah. Vifalaga za mbata ziko hapo. Yaani hii ni maisha tu. So when you wa America iko vipi? It's just like back home. Ni venye tu unamezoea kuonyeshwa mabarabara. Hapa kuna watu wanaishi maisha tu kama ya pale Gishagi ukienda pale Kimosho ama uende pale Kanunga ama pale Muranga ama pale Kihewa Agogo maisha ni yale tu ama pale Kakamega hmm? maisha ni kama hayo hayo tu Huku ni zile zile tu tu. Kuna jambo tofauti. <laughs> sungura wako pia. Kitaka sungura mjanja yuko. Sungura kaka yuko. Ila kitu yote unataka utapata hapa katika Yamish village eh Ikiwaambia watu wengi waishi maisha watasema mimi siwezi ishi maisha haya mimi ni kwa Amerika punda wako nazo eh hizi ni falasi kuna falasi kuna ile falasi zinawabemba kama hii ni ya kuwabeba kama vile nimekuonyesha wanabebwa na falasi huko kwa barabara lakini pia kuna zile falasi zingine huwa zinatumika za kazi sasa kama hii unaona hapa hii ni ya kazi wakitaka kulima mashamba because they have very big farms kazi yao ni, ku, ni kulima wanalima mbembe ile mi, matunda wanata ukitaka they do that mbuzi eh, huku tuko nazo pia eh? ukitaka kondoo unakujia tu hapa unanunua unaenda unachinja i know yeah although wazungu wengi sana wanapendanga lamba watanki hizi goat wanasema goat sio ya kuliwa but him ama hawa wanaziweka zote eh? katika hizi boma zao Kuku na vioziona ni zile za kuachilia inaenda inatafuta minyo huko inakula eh? Bata ziko yani ile life tu ya ushago kwetu haina tofauti ha? Lakini sasa kwa hiki kijiji chao Ila kitu niliona niliona ya kwamba mpaka shule iko tu hapa na hawa hawazungu ni wale hawasomi. Huwezi hmm? soma, upike ati ufike ati sijui high school. No. Wanasoma mpaka class 8. Hata sijui ama ni class 8. Bora ujue kuandika jina yako na kuhesabu 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10. Ukijua hivyo wewe umehitimu. Bora ujue kuhesabu pesa. Sababu sasa unajua wakiuza mahidi hapa watajua kuhesabu hizo pesa. So ni watu hata masomo yao ni ya kipekee sana. Shule yao inakaa ni shule yao. Wanaingia darasa moja, wanasoma, halafu wanarudi nyumbani. Soko wanazao. Uweze mkuta ati ameenda ati kufanya raha huko chini ati ati downtown, ati kuona movie. Hawa watu hata TV hawana. Hiyo mambo ni ya dunia, hawataki. Simu. Na unajua simu ndio kila kitu katika hii dunia. Watu wengi sasa hapa hata wakiwaambia wa, wapeane simu zao mtu akae na simu siku mbili apewe 1200 atasema afadhali 1200 zikae So hawa watu hizo ni vitu ambazo hawazitilii maanani haswa wanasema hiyo ni mambo ya dunia bora waishi wako na raha and by the way ukiwaangalia they live together first born second born third born wanaishi hapo Mashamba yao ni kama ile tu ya kwetu. Nyanya wanazipanda tu hapo. Eh, zile tunaitanga gardens za hapa kwa nyumba. Wako nazo, kuna carrots, wako na dania. Wako na spinach. Everything. Ukikuja kuishi hapa utachuna kila kitu kwa shamba yao. 
si ati wanaenda kununua ati kwa Walmart ama uh, supermarket nyingine hapana hiyo hawaihesabu sana uh-uh. na huwa wanakuza tubako sana mahidi ndio haya hmm? naita kon hmm? yani is a very interesting life Ninakutembeza hapa ndio atatist ujue usikie kama uko hapa and uh, I said when you visit PA just come here and see these Amish people they are here shida ni hawataki wachukue video sasa siwezi kuwachukua video kwa sababu hiyo ni mambo ya dunia wanasema hiyo ni mambo ya dunia so even when I'm doing this I'm doing it uh, wakiwa mbali sana at least ndio wasiseme na wa, na wainu, na waonyesha but I'm doing this for you people to see And no here in America United States of America there are people who live on their own Imagine nyumba haina stima nyumba haina socket jiko wanapika na ma- na coal eh? ngombe ndio huyu ngombe hawakamui na machini huyu sasa akikula hizo nyasi atakamuliwa na mikono eh, they believe ku- ku- kukuza vitu zao maziwa yao haiendi ile inaitangwa ati kutayarishwa inatoka grade hii inaenda grade ile ni ile wanakamua kwa hii ngombe e, unaona venye ameboweka ni kama alikamuliwa e, kila kitu hmm? huh? now how what by the way sometimes I, i came to realize they are very generous kuna wakati watafika mtu akwambia kuja uchukue hii ngombe ukakule eh Another, kuna there was a story that was been given about these people the amish people kuna mtu aliingia mahali akalepo asichana na akawaua wengi sana. Eh? Ati alikuwa anataka kulala na wale wasichana virgin. But these people they forgive that man. Wakati alishikwa walisema wao hawana jambo lingine wamemsamehe. Eh? They live their own life. You can just google the Amish people maisha yao. Eh? Vitu vya shamba wanalima na hizi magari. Eh? Hawana hata vitu zingine. Sasa ile unaona pale ndio shule. Eh? Wako na vitu vyao wamejijenga hapa kwa hiki kijiji. Kama ni shule ndio ile. Watoto wote wanakutana hapa wanajua kuhesabu moja hadi kumi. Alafu mtu anamaliza shule. Although nilifanya utafiti nikauliza kuna vijana wengine sababu kuna kuna wasichana warembo sana hapa. Na pia vile vile vijana mtu akitaka kuolewa nje ya hili kijiji ama hiki kijiji hufanyika nasema yes inafanyika lakini pia wewe sasa ukifanya hivyo wanakufukuza you can't stay with them you can't be an amish eh, kuna wale wanaishi maisha wanaona hapana hatuwezi ishi maisha sasa hawa hawajui facebook hawajui google hapana wanaishi ile ma- maisha na hii tunasema ni, ni 2021 2021 Haya school house ndio hii wacha ni kuingize kwa shule yao One of their class is actually kama zile class tunakuanga nazo. Uh, lakini hile iko ni ya kwamba sasa shule yao ni hii tu. Haina ati grade 1, grade 2, grade 3. Hapana. Ukuja unasomea hapa na unamalizia hapa. Unaingia mashabani. Habapo sasa nikitoka hapa nitakupeleka moja kwa moja mpaka mashabani. You know nikikwambia hivi you don't believe kuna wazungu kama hawa wanaishi bila viatu nitakuonyesha sasa. And I pray nitawapata uone watoto wa mama wow. eh mena miatoka wako na ile miatuka na si ati ni ma, ni maskini no they are very rich actually oh, yeah. Uh, yeah they are very rich but they live this life unaona kama ile ni cold ile ni jiko ya cold when it is cold when it is winter hawawashi stima pana hii class yote haina stima no wanaweka ile cold kwa ile machine in a warm the class this is the amish class 1 plus 1 2 plus 2 uh,
Yeah, that's the cross. Iko hivo. Sasa hiyo ndiyo ya kuwabeba kama mtu anaenda sokoni anakalia hapo ina mabeba ama wanabeba kuna ile ya kubeba watoto kuna ile ya kubeba wazee eh unajua farasi moja ni pesa mingi sana so kama kila mtu akona farasi yake ni watu ambao si wewe sema ati ni watu maskini hawaishi hivi kwa sababu ni maskini no it is because of their culture na walitoka nchi nyingine wakaja wakaja hapa marekani wakati walikuja hapa wakaishi kivyao so wacha nini nikawatafute mahali wanaishi and this is the lancaster a very beautiful place in pa uh, so right now i'm heading to where they actually live because wanaishi hapa kwa mashambani they have very big lands just about hawataki mambo ya hii maisha ati magari ama nini ama hii stima ama sasa hii technology hapana wao wanataka ile mambo ya kuishi kama ni kukata miti wanakata na ile ma- madhanwa access eh? soka shoka yeah Sasa maisha yao ndio haya wanaishi huku kwa mashambani na wako na mboma mazuri sana hizi mboma zote unaona hapa uh, ndizo mboma zao wanakuza mahindi wana wako na, na, na mahali pa kuziweka wao wenyewe you know so hawana ati biashara na mtu wakirima mahindi yao kuna mahali wanaziweka sasa watu wengine wanaenda kuzinunua huko. Kama ni market wako na market zao pande hii. As you can see hakuna much traffic these sides because wao wenyewe hawana hizo magari but hizo mamboma unaona huku kubwa kubwa ni za hao wazungu na kuelezea kama hii ni market yao is one of their market kama ile wanaenda pale hata kama si tukitaka kununua saa matunda tutaingia tu hapo tukute wanauza matunda very fresh tomatoes mboga and they have very big uh, lands wanakuza samaki wanafuga ama wanalisha eh huh? sasa nimekuja hapo kwa huyu is actually one of their leaders Uh, kulingana venye niliambiwa na rafiki yangu anakuanga bishop wao yani anakuanga ni kama mmoja ambaye anatengeneza laws zenye huwa wao wanafuata na this one of his home huku sasa t- ni labda nikimpata ni sawa nitabahatika kuwaona huku wakiwa hawana viatu ukiona viatu tu ni ya baba wakati anaenda kwa shamba lakini hao wengine mama na watoto wanaishi hivyo na America wanaheshimu hiyo maisha Yeah, at least niko lucky. That's uh, that's a, a wife. Wa huyu bishop ako hapo. Sinaona hayana viatu. Sasa huyu ni customer amekuja hapo kununua matuda. We are just behind him. Lakini sasa huyo ndiye mama wa hili boma. Kimtazama vizuri. Yeye hana viatu. Lakini ile ile inanishangaza ni kama pesa wanachukua. You see that young little girl there hakana viatu na ni kwa kakoto and that's their life sasa hiyo nguo unaona hapo ndio ya mtoto hiyo sasa huyu mama amevaa ndio ya mama dru ni lazima akue na kofia ile amevaa kwa kichwa hiyo inaonyesha yeye ameolewa ama ile kitambaa ameweka kwa kichwa atungeza kuwakaribia vizuri Uh, ile tukao tunataka haswa hayuko but uh, that is their life so we had to leave uh, tuende kwa boma lake lingine tugaria ngalao tunaweza mpata but of course on my way pia ninapatana na wengine ambao hawana viatu wanaenda shughuli zao yes mashamba wako na makubwa haya
Ä©yo nÄ© ria kana nÄ©kÄ©o acio matihandÄ©te? Ä©yo nÄ© nyamÅ© Ä©tagwo raÄ©. Ä©no rÄ©u Ä©no Ä©gÅ©kÅ©? Ä©no Ä© haha Å©guo. Haya ni kama nimefika mahali we mzee wako lakini sasa ninakuonyesha picha ya wengine pale. Sasa ni wachana wadogo. Labda wanatoka kwa baba yao ama kwa guka yao. Unaona hawana miviatu. Hawaendi na gari, wanatembea tu miguu. Hmm? That's their life. That's their life. Otherwise, I hope someday I'll be able to tell you the full story of these people. Uh, but sasa sina budi ila kurudi nyumbani. Uh, nirudi sasa kwa ile maisha tuko sasa ya kisasa. Isipokuwa hiyo ya nini. But at least now you know there are people who lives without shoes here. Sasa Kenya mkiwa hamna viatu si nunike sana. There are people who lives in America. Wao bei ya viatu hawajui. Eh? Hawajui bei ya simu. Na si kusema wao ni maskini, wana pesa lakini hawana haja. Wanataka maisha yao ikuwe maisha tuni yao peke yao. Other is Jeremy Damaris always informing you about this great land of America, United States of America. God bless you. God bless you. Ciao. Remember to subscribe to our channel. Ndiyo uweze kuspito na mambo kama haya.